But AKC3199, your car is making bad karma. Please move it now, otherwise it will be reborn as a bicycle in the next test life. Cars make bad karma too. AKC3199, you're making bad karma. Why different type of worshipping Buddha in different temples? Oh, it's just some traditions and some different ways. Some people like bowing, some people like bowing, fall down. These are just traditions, they're not really important. It's not if you're bowing, but how you bow. What's in your mind? It's not just chanting. What are you doing in your head when you're chanting? So that's the different types of worship. But it really doesn't matter. We worship things in different ways. So there's no problem at all. So I adapt to different ways of doing things. Then Ajahn Brahm, you said that your kindness meditation relaxes your body and mind to no further thoughts would arise. May I ask what will happen next? No, you won't ask, you can find out for yourself. <laughs> You're peaceful. It's so wonderful to be free of thinking. Look, it's just like, have you ever had someone having a noisy party in the house next door to you? They go on 11 o'clock, when they're going to shut up? 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, and finally they shut up, peace and quiet at last. That's just all these thoughts in your mind, like a party in your mind. When are you going to have any peace and quiet? Last, finally, no more thoughts, peace and quiet at last. Oh, that's so nice. You bliss out. Autism, Buddhist point of view. There is a story about your autism in, in the Jatakas about the prince. He was born as a prince and decided he wouldn't become a prince. It's too much problem. So he pretended to be autistic. He wouldn't speak, he wouldn't do anything. And it was an interesting story that he actually even forced that. He wasn't really autistic, but just decided to take that as a way of escaping from the suffering of being a, a king. But many autistic people, they, they are fully aware of what you say, what you do, they're living a full life inside. But it's just trying to relate to them on different ways, not just the ways of speech, but other ways. And I think people have made great advances on connecting to autistic people. Just try innovative ways of communicating. And they find a way through. If someone divorces you, do they get bad karma? What to do? <laughs> If they are so stupid to divorce a kind person like you, they, they get their bad karma results straight away. They separate from a beautiful person. But anyway, in the West, we don't call it divorce anymore. We call it recycling. Okay. Hi, can I ask you guys, in Theravada monks died. I understand the first piece of do not kill. I know that your diet consists of fish and chicken, chips. I would like to understand more. I hope no offense asking this. It is some people, I've been talking to doctors about this, that some people can eat a vegetarian diet and they can survive pretty well, but not all people can. So physically they get very sick. And I've got my local doctors, a lot of my monks are trying to eat a vegetarian diet and getting sick. And the local doctor is saying, please tell them not to. But I can't do that. So some people can, some people can't. And so we can't be criticized. Them. And one of the nicest things was, sometimes people don't understand this, but the Buddha was wise enough to make the monkhood and the nunhood open enough for all people, even those who can't be vegetarians. <coughs> they too can become monks or nuns by not making it obligatory at all. The Buddha was asked just before he passed away by Devadatta, can we make it a rule that all monks and nuns have to be vegetarian? He said no. And sometimes I wonder, why was that? I think it was to make the monkhood more accessible for others. And that's my idea in mind. Another question I may ask, the difference between solitude and loneliness, I've heard you mention before. Yes, in brief, because I'm going over time. Uh, you only feel lonely when you don't like yourself. When you're not at peace with yourself. I've been in solitude for a long time, long time period, six months once. 
is see any human being for six months, or speak to a human being for six months. And I never felt lonely, because I was with my best friend, me. <laughs> I'm quite happy with myself. So that's why I never feel lonely, I'm always with my best friend, me. So if you're with, you've got a good relationship to yourself, you love yourself, as you would love all other beings, you never feel lonely. You're with a great friend. But if you're afraid of yourself or don't like yourself, then when no one else is around, you feel not very pleasant. So get to know yourself, be kind to yourself, love yourself, wherever you are in this world, you're never lonely. That's why, honestly, I still do this. When I go to bed tonight, the last person I will see is me. I say, good night, I jump out, have a good night. See you in the morning, good night. I say good night to myself. And when I wake up in the morning, good morning, me back again, have a wonderful day. <laughs> I say good morning to myself. It's a wonderful way of waking up. How do you practice Buddhism in this ever materialistic world? You don't have to be materialistic. You don't have to go to the shops and spend all your money. You can spend it at the BGF instead. <laughs> And see, you've got no money left, so you can't go shopping. <laughs> Easy. So it's not that hard. And many people manage that. They don't get sucked in to all the advertisement. Advertisement, promising you happiness the more stuff you get. 